Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some hard lighting effects that you can use on your images in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to make this sunny day image right here into kind of a gloomy day with some filters and some other things like that. I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first thing that we want to do is kind of get rid of the sky in this image, but actually even before that I'm going to just make a copy of my background. Um, so what I'll do is I'll click and drag my background image into the new layer button or you can press Control J on your keyboard to accomplish the same task. I'm going to go ahead and make the original background layer invisible and start working on the one that we just made. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is go to my quick selection tool. Probably your magic wand tool is up on the tool palette so what you'll do is you'll click and hold and your quick selection tool should be hiding underneath of it and you can select it that way. Okay. So what I want to do is just kind of select as much of the sky as I can and then, uh, as you can see, there's some blue areas in the, in the image that I want to try to get as well, okay? And uh, I'll go ahead and click an area to show you. If you get too much, you can click um, or press Alt on your keyboard and click to get these areas back, okay? Okay, so now what I want to do is get some of these blue areas that um, are in my image. So what I want to do, I think, is actually do a select and we'll do the inverse because when we make our mask it's going to mask out um, the sky if you have this area selected okay but still what I want to do is I want to press Q on my keyboard and go into quick mask mode and I want to brush in these areas um, with, a, with a very light brush so I'll click on my brush and I'll go up to my brush settings and I'll make the hardness down to zero and I'll just brush in the sky that I don't want on my image. And it doesn't have to be real exact right now because we'll try to fix some of this up in a little bit. Okay, so I'll just do some of it. I'm just kind of click, click, click. Okay. Up here's one, a little bit in these leaves here. Okay, and we'll we'll try that, and uh, you can always go back and uh, do more if you have to, and I'll show you how. Or well, I'm showing you how right now, but uh, you can always come back and do more with this same technique. Next thing that you want to do is go up to select and down to um, refine edge. Okay, and you can kind of refine the edge of this. Um, if you click on this tool right here and just kind of go over some of these areas it should get these uh, these little sky bits a little bit better for you and make them just a little bit more uh, I don't know user friendly or make it look a little bit more realistic when you finally cut out everything okay the reason that you kind of went through and brushed in some of these areas is just because just to kind of let Photoshop know um, that you think that it should probably uh, go away or be there, okay? And then it can kind of render some of these things on its own. And it's not going to be perfect, but uh, what we'll do is in here we'll set a feather so that hopefully it kind of softens up the edges that this uh, technique's going to create. I'll show you that in a second here. But pretty much what you want to do is you, uh, you go over with this tool um, over the whole thing. As you can see, this one is not perfect. Uh, that, that, that one uh, worked pretty well. But if you do get an area that, uh, that looks like it's going to be too masked, you just click and hold on this tool and do Erase Refinements tool, and you can erase the uh, refinements that you've made. Okay, But this is uh, going pretty, pretty well. Okay, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try that. And like I said, you can always do more. But uh, what I want to do is I want to click on, well, I should have done this before, but if you click on decontaminate colors and put the amount up to 100%, that'll help you get a better edge on this. I'm going to go ahead and try to do it without, uh, but uh, or go ahead and try that too with your image. Okay, so the next thing that I said I wanted to do is change the feather, and I'm just going to change it up to like 1%, and hopefully that gives me just a little softer edge when I do make um, my my uh, my new layer here. If you output it to the selection, it's going to output it to the layer that you're currently working on. Uh, which actually, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. 
The other option um, would be to make a new layer with a layer mask, and that uh, that would be that'd be good too. We'll press OK though, and it looks like we got a lot of these areas, and we can work with that. So we can now that we have our selection, we can make our uh, our layer mask on that selection. So you just click the Add Layer Mask button, and that uh, got rid of the sky. And as you can see, we have a pretty soft edge because we added that feather. And we did that refine edge thing that we did uh, that that we worked on. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is add another sky to the background. I already have one, so what I want to do is open that um, or click on that document and kind of just drag it over into the open, so I can take my uh, that layer from that document and drag it into the document that I'm working on. It, after you've done that, you can go ahead and drag that back up to the top and uh, take that and you can rename that layer um, sky or something like that and drag it back below the image that you're working on as you can see there's still a little bit of an edge there um, so what we can do is um, take the layer that we just added that mask to and we can make that be a multiply layer and that uh, as you can see it gets rid of the, the edge around that object but it also makes the rest of it kind of show through. So what we want to do is make a copy of the, that layer and put it over the top and we can try different things. We can try an overlay, we could try screen, but I think what I want to do is just set it to normal and what I'll do then is click on the layer mask and I'll just erase away the areas that are there and let the multiply kind of show through only on the edge. So I'll click on my eraser Make sure it's very, very, very soft. Mine's set to zero. And you can change your size a little bit if you want, but make sure you only get the edge of this because that multiply is pretty harsh and is going to look, if you get too much um, deleted, it's going to look too doctored. Okay? So you can kind of just click the areas that look a little bit. To, uh, to blue. And I'm going to go fast. You should kind of take your time on this. It kind of gives a burnt edges look to your uh, image. And then some of these other uh, filters that we're about to put on here will also help with this uh, edge. But definitely this edge is going to be the most tricky part of this technique. And it might take the most time for you on your own. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you can kind of do, if uh, if some of those areas look a little too doctored, like I said before, you can kind of take this layer and change the opacity down to like 90% or something, just to kind of help it blend a little bit. Um, looks like even going down a little bit more on this image would be fine. I think 80% looks pretty good here, so I'll leave it like that. Um, it's not perfect, but, uh, but hopefully some of these things that we do next will uh, kind of help this out, all right? Um, now with this layer, if you want, you can kind of, and I always do this just to see what it looks like, you can try an auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color with it, and uh, sometimes that cleans it up a little bit. But really what I want to do now is start adding adjustment layers, and I think the first thing that I want to do is add a photo filter to kind of make everything look a little bit more uniform. So what you can do is change the, uh, the density of the photo filter. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, you can try different ones, built-in ones, like a, a blues, okay. Um, that might look kind of interesting. So what I'll do is I'll make the density really high. And then um, what I'll do on the photo filter is set that to a multiply on that photo filter layer. And that's going to uh, add that to the entire image. And you can you can still work with that. If you don't like that color, you can use one of these warming filters. And actually, that looks pretty good to make it gloomy. It kind of looks like it's about to rain. As you can see, it's really helped out that edge. And uh, you can continue to go in with that edge now and work with it more if you wanted to. Okay? And with those burnt edges, it looks pretty good. Okay? So just make sure that it's not like a hard line all the way around the image. You can even go in and do a few spots like that if you want. And if you get something that doesn't look good, like right in this area, you can get your uh, brush tool 
from your tool palette and just kind of brush some of that back in too. Okay, and that's probably okay. Okay, so now we have a really kind of a hard, um, hard lighting effect that we've added here, and it looks pretty good. There's still some uh, pixel issues here, so what I want to do is I want to click on that layer, and I want to go up to Filter, down to Blur, and we'll just do a quick uh, surface blur on there, and we'll do, um, looks like 28 actually looks pretty good, but usually I would do a lot less. Since my image is pretty pixely, I think I will go ahead and do a 28, but you're going to want to kind of gauge this on your own image, okay? And then I'm, I just uh, clicked OK. Alright, now that uh, kind of cleaned up or blurred some of those pixels together and made it look a little nicer. The next thing that I want to do is add, say I want to add in a tree and a shadow for that tree. What I'll do is I'll click, uh, I have already opened a tree and I've already cut it out. So you can see the original tree here. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And I've already made a mask and cut it out. And it kind of has some of the same issues as, uh, as the other uh, tree line that we had before, so you can kind of do some of the same things with that. But what I'll do is I'll uh, drag this document over and then drag this um, layer into my document on top. And you want to make sure that that goes behind, uh, and I'll, I'll just drag this back up to the top to get it out of the way and go back to my working document. But you want to make sure that this tree goes underneath this photo filter so that it kind of gets the same effect to it. Okay? You can kind of drag that tree anywhere you want. I think I want it right here. Now that tree, um, it is a little bit harsh with this photo filter. So what I'll do is I'll click on the photo filter. There's a mask on it. And you can take an eraser and make it really um, soft like we did before. Make the brush size a lot bigger and make the opacity on that brush 50% uh, and just brush some of that filter off of here. Okay. You can do that. That's one thing you can do, okay? I'm going to just uh, try to do a little bit better of a job. Don't get too close to the edge, as you saw when I did. It uh, it added in some, some colors that weren't very good. And some of those burnt edges, like we talked about before, look really nice. So I'm just going to kind of stay away from the edge. And you can see some of the blues are shining through up there that, uh, that really shouldn't be. So what I'll do is I'll click on that, that, uh, that tree copy layer, and I'll make this a multiply. And that'll, uh, like a, once again, it'll make this really dark. But what we can do is we can make a copy, Control-J, to make a copy of that tree. And we can set that one to normal. Um, if, if you can't get Control-J to work, you can just click on the layer and drag that into the new, new layer button down at the bottom there. But what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll make that new tree uh, layer normal, and we'll set the opacity down a little bit um, to 50%, we can try 75%, and just try a few different things, okay? 75 will be, well, let's go ahead and just do 100%, and then what we'll do is we'll click on that mask, and we can erase away some of the sky, like we did before, and just let that uh, that multiplied layer shine through, and those burnt edges and everything. Okay, so just click away anything that looks a little bit blue. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. And if you want to make some more of the edges look burnt, you can do that too. Uh, there's already kind of a shadow here, but let me go ahead and just show you how you can add a better shadow for this tree. So what you'll do is you'll take this uh, this tree layer, and I'm going to rename this just like normal tree because that's the effect that we had on it, and it'll just help me keep um, these layers in uh, so that I know what the, the layers are doing if I want to try to edit them later. So what I'll do is I'll make a copy of that layer, and I can just drag that into the new layer button to make the copy, and I'm going to call that shadow, and I'm going to drag that down b below both of my tree layers that I've been working on, okay? And I'm going to double click on that shadow layer and do a color overlay on it and make that black and then click OK. Um, if you want to see what that did, you can click uh, you can click your arrow, select key, and just kind of drag that over and you can see that that made a very dark uh, tree. 
So the next thing that you want to do is go up to Edit, down to Transform, and I think what we want to do is try the perspective one. And I'll zoom out a little bit by pressing Control and the minus key on my keyboard. And I want to change that perspective so that it looks like it's laying on the ground. And we just have to kind of play with the anchors a little bit till we can get it the way that we want. And what we want to do is just kind of slide it like that. And that's going to be very elongated when we're all done. So I'll show you how to kind of scrunch that up. And actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? This one's not going to, this, uh, that edit tool is not going to work very well for this. So I'll just simply go up to edit again, do um, transform, and we'll just do a distort on there. And what we can do is just kind of drag the corners a little bit. And we can just drag it until it looks, looks like a shadow. We'll just drag that right there. And it'll be fine. Something like that ought to do. And we'll just go ahead and drag that. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. If you want the shadow to be a little wider, just kind of keep dragging those these toggles. And we can try something like that. That might be good. And then if you, we need to line it up with the base of the tree so we can go to edit, down to transform, and uh, do free transform actually. And we can just kind of rotate it a little bit so that it's pointing the direction that we want it to be, like that. And we'll click, double click to put it in place. Okay. As you can see, it's, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit uh, by pressing control on the plus sign. And as you can see, it's completely covering people up. So on that shadow layer, we want to set that to a multiply. And then we also want to take the opacity down a lot. Let's try about 29 or 30 pixels. You can see that shadow is coming right off the tree, and it does go over people. Um, it shouldn't be going over her. So what we'll do is we'll click on that mask, and we'll erase that part off of her. And we can do that for anywhere that it falls on somebody, OK? But that's looking pretty good. The shadow might fall on him, and it might fall, probably shouldn't fall on her, or her the way that it is. So we're just erasing that away. But uh, I like the way that it's falling on the rest of some of these people. You can kind of soften it up. Okay, and that's about it. So what we've done um, is we've, we've added a tree, and we've added... Um, the sky, and we've added a, a warming uh, photo filter to kind of change this sunny day into a gloomy day. And you can use some of these techniques on your own images, and it'll make a really nice kind of image like this. Definitely, you'd want to go back through and erase some more of these little sky areas, and you just go into the mask again and uh, just erase some of that stuff away. Okay, we can just keep doing that. Okay. And that's, uh, that's about it. So let me just show you um, where we started with and what we ended with. So I'll go up to my history to, do, to show you that. And uh, you can see we have this image that we started with, very sunny, kind of pixely day. And uh, we are going to end with that. And uh, that looks quite a bit nicer. It looks uh, very uh, ominous or something. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Please find me on Facebook and Twitter. And... Uh, have a good day. Thank you.